Welcome my beautiful Libras. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 3rd to the 9th, 2021. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button and the bell button and make it ring. Then you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view. As I said, this is a general reading. Every single card or the energy they carry may not resonate with every single Libra on the planet, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does apply to. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Libras, let's see what we have here for your spirit messages and your all over energy card. You have been given the grasshopper spirit. And this is kind of like the leap of faith card because you know the grasshopper does. He leaps, he hops, he goes wherever he wants to go and he's in charge of his life. And he's able to have that freedom. So I think you're going to be taking a leap of, of faith as well. So you know what? You need to jump to the next level of your life right now. All right, move forward into something even better than you could have ever imagined. You're you're not going you're not going backwards. Okay, you're going forwards. This isn't you know the dragonfly. This is a grasshopper. He goes forward. He takes that leap. So listen to your intuition rather than your fearful ego that resists any change and clings worldly to what was. So don't worry. Get moving. Go forward. Luck is on your side. Jump up and forward with confidence because spirit wants you to take this leap. So you're going out into new territory. There might be something that you've always wanted to do. You've been thinking about it. You haven't done it. Don't let your ego and fear take the lead on your path. Take that leap of faith. I think you're going into something beautiful this week. Now your first energy card is details details wow so you're going to be stepping up and doing something that requires a lot of concentration everything's connected okay and I do think that that's what you're doing you're going to be stepping up here and stepping up into something that you really really need to concentrate on so put your mind you know at ease but also keep your mind open to what it is you need to go forward with okay the most powerful patterns are related within the tiniest details so pay attention whatever you're working on pay attention this is a time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life right it's a sign okay to tighten up the reins on a project make small meaningful gestures right now that are going to be epic okay or add a personal touch to your correspondence be aware of what you need to know lies in the details if you're entering into an agreement of any kind pay attention Okay, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. So this is all about paying attention, being careful what you're signing to, being careful what you're doing, being careful of all the details. Okay, crossing your T's, dotting your I's. Be careful. Now, you've got the cobweb, and the cobweb says, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Beautiful. So you might feel as though you've got some challenges here. You might feel be a little bit fearful to take that leap of faith, but go for it anyway. As long as you're careful and you know where you're, what you're diving into, what you're going into. So be aware of those details. Okay. So I think you're going to be fine here. I think, you know, you're going to be protected. Uh, it's almost like the divine has stepped up and put up a smoke screen to protect you here. Go for it. You've got co-create. Yes beautiful beautiful cards so you could be collaborating with somebody else here getting together with somebody else picking their brains picking their mind uh, you know it's great to do that it's great to have help along the way and I think you're going to be doing that and you know what you may not consider yourself a creative person but you are but in fact you are creating your reality every moment of every day through your thoughts right so feelings beliefs intentions and actions that's where you're at right now so you could be co-creating something with somebody else or you could be stepping into your creativity whatever it is this week what are you doing are you being creative with how you communicate with people are you being creative with maybe some of you are decorating your homes or your offices uh you know doing something different for yourself and know that you have this ability but you could be tapping into others as well picking their brains to help and guide you along the way as you do this now your crowning energy here in the tarot is the knight of cups now the knight of cups came up uh 
for the last sign which was Leo as well uh, or Virgo and I think you know this all over energy says get ready get ready for surprises get ready for somebody to show up all of a sudden uh, you're not going to believe that they're there they could be a water sign a Pisces Scorpio or a Cancer and it's almost as though as you they sh that you feel they showed up at the perfect time and that you feel as though they were there to rescue you they also come in with their hand and attention affection respect and maybe even love this particular night may sweep you off your feet so get ready get ready it could be male or female I think you're going to be meeting somebody this week who's going to be stepping up who wants to support you who wants who goes along with everything that you like uh, has the same likes and dislikes uh, you know they're very sensitive water signs are very very sensitive and they have this ability to tap in to your energy level and usually they bring that in the form of kindness and love and affection and healing so this is a beautiful card for you to start off your week so get ready some of you are going to meet your knight in shining armor now you've got the two of pentacles coming in behind you this could be past tense but I think that you know you need to balance yourself uh, keep yourself in alignment stay on your path but don't take off, bite off more than you can chew don't take on more than you can handle right now allocate some of the jobs to other people if you have to if it has to do with at work or even home don't take on too much also I think you know you might need to balance your home life and your work life maybe you're just getting too busy now I read this intuitively with the two here there could be two decisions two choices and two offers and opportunities coming in for you to have to make a choice about the devil the devil is that ego card right the devil says you know what you may have be holding yourself back what are you holding yourself back is it with uh, is it fear uh, is it worry is it disappointment <clears throat> is it resentment <coughs> whatever it is the ego is also the addiction card which means you need to do what's right for you make those healthy choices and decisions that are holding you back or to give to give them up that are holding you back moving forward in a positive and healthy direction it could be anything it could be lack of exercise overeating it could be overindulging it could be over worry whatever the case is I think you're going to remove that from your life you're moving forward you're making all the healthy and right decisions now and not allowing your ego to step up and take precedence or fear or worry or any of that addictive behavior which is great you need to keep your eyes open ace of wands is beautiful ace of wands is all beautiful things coming in towards you in the form of options offers opportunities it's a great card that says keep your eyes open for these things coming in when you least expect it all of a sudden there they are it's an exciting opportunity and it could have to do with your career possibilities right so go for it it's starting a new business maybe for some of you it's a new job for others it could be a promotion for others but know that when this ace shows up keep your eyes open because your energy shifting for the better wow now you had this beautiful knight of water now you have the knight of wands now this particular knight could come in too that may want you to get together with them um, they're an interesting knight uh, they they uh, tend to come in very very uh, very very quickly they're very passionate about things that they do and they take on and they take charge and they move quickly so I think that something's going to come into you that's going to require you to pay attention but I think it might have to do perhaps with some of you signing contracts and partnerships maybe some of you are going into business and it's going to allow you that freedom to beat to your own drum and show your authenticity and your and your uniqueness so this is a beautiful beautiful card that says you know it's a sudden passionate uh, situation that comes in or a sudden passionate love affair that comes in it also refers to business business travel and you know uh, changing a residence moving going in that direction it's also something like an emergency because it comes up so quickly you can't uh, you can't um, ignore it you've got to move towards it okay I always tell people be careful because there's always somebody that wants to jump in your shoes so if it's a new job if it's a promotion if it's something like that then I want you to step up and take uh, take it go after it don't be afraid okay take that leap of faith here is your chariot yeah commend yourself for something that you've achieved that was epic uh, this is you know the chariot he goes in there with the mindset yeah he's got risks he's got consequences but he goes in there with a mindset he's gonna win it come what may and you know some of you have done something and you're you've achieved something you need to pat yourself on the back for it you're, you're coming out ahead and a winner here beautiful now coming in towards you uh, your future uh, your future energy is a five of wands now you might still feel as though you're being poked with a stick by others you could be uh, you know uh, constantly having to promote yourself or defend yourself or explain yourself pick your battles wisely 
okay there could be, there's always people that want something that we have and they they want to they want to catch you up on something so be careful about your workplace if somebody is provoking you there uh, don't allow them to do that four of cups well four of cups is feeling bored feeling like you're in a situation that uh, is boring you to death uh, you might want to uh, move forward towards something new here but keep your options open because um, you know it's time to reevaluate a situation you might not be seeing something in complete clarity uh, you feel as though you're missing out when you open your eyes to new possibilities and accept the help that's being offered to you things are going to change okay um, you know it's like getting lost in your own little world something's missing it's boredom uh, keep your your eyes open there's going to be change here coming in it's beautiful now you've got the lovers yeah lovers is obvious lovers is all about a new beautiful relationship coming into you and it can also be partnership and business so it doesn't necessarily have to always be romantic I mean it'd be great if your boss and you were romantic right and you were married to each other but that is you know that may or may not be possible but this is a significant relationship and it may be romantic in nature or it an intimate or it may just be a platonic friendship okay so know that you're going to be communicating and that's key in any relationship to see it get off the ground and succeed you can share you can safely now share your feelings with someone close to you and it's almost like you know it's time to make a decision because when the lovers comes up it means there's major decisions decisions and life-changing decisions that you have to make that might be determined around another person okay so make sure your choices are you know you are thoroughly considered uh, and you're able to act on them right so you need to have balance right now this is also the card of return to good health and marriage and weddings and things like that so it's beautiful now let's see what we have for clarification here for our tarot cards let's see spirit what do they need to see what do they need to know what do they need to expect clarification please now they usually tell me to shuffle three times but I'm going to shuffle four because I screwed that one up so let's do that is that okay spirit yes okay once more let's see what we've got here okay they're telling me to put the top card on the bottom they've been doing that lately and I don't know why but anyhow we'll do that so let's see with our knight in shining armor our beautiful water sign you could be connecting with somebody from your past or from a distance maybe you've been on an online dating site and you meet somebody who doesn't live near you but it'll be a beautiful connection and you're going to share a lot of dialogue with them you could be daydreaming about your past your childhood uh, you could also be working and uh, entertaining children in your life at this time you need to tap into your own inner child too so again you could be dealing with somebody from a distance or you could be dealing with somebody from your past returning and it could be this beautiful water sign now our two of pentacles we have the six of wands beautiful card victory after hard work and struggle so you you're gonna you're coming out ahead here you finished and you've completed something very successful and we said that with the chariot as well but this is getting recognition for what you did and rewarded for it beautiful our devil card our ego card let's see what we have we have the strength so it's going to take strength but this is the thing that says don't go in with the roar of the lion go in with the, the gentleness of a lamb uh, you know look at a situation if you're dealing with another energy another person who has addictive behavior you might be wanting to ease them through uh, you know intervention you might be wanting to ease them through and help them through a situation here and I think kindness understanding and forgiveness is going to come into play doing what's right for you too and keeping your eyes open for all those beautiful opportunities you have the eight of cups so the eight of cups talks about walking away from something and going in a new direction you realize that you've had to leave something behind and it could have been somebody that had an addiction or negative or toxic energy that was around you or something and you realize now you're going in a new direction you're not there yet because this is a card of balance and this means that you still don't have all the elements there that are going to make you go forward quickly but you're you know you're on the right path stay on that path keep going in that direction it's just going to take a little time and our beautiful knight of wands we have the world so the world is your oyster my beautiful friends absolutely so you're going to be able to move forward again and see you know beautiful beautiful um you know beautiful uh positive action coming in this is about perfection and moving to the next level this some of you could be receiving an award for your hard work and effort as well some of you could be moving you could be going to a new house or you could be moving to a new job but you're going to have complete clarity now it's like you've got freedom coming into you and didn't I say that being able to beat to your own drum
the chariot. Let's see what we have. We have the page of rods. Again, fast action. Okay, we talked about that. Uh, you had the knight, now you have the page. Page is bringing you some information about something you're, again, you're going to have to act on very quickly. Okay, don't hesitate, uh, but be careful. All right, it's an exciting new opportunity coming your way. And it could be a bit challenging, but you're ready for that. It's good news, my friends, about a creative project. And also you need to continue believing in yourself here. That's what's going to bring you out the winner. Five of Wands, competing, debating. You've got the Five of Cups. So you know what? You might be getting tired of being poked all the time. You might be getting tired of having to pick your battles wisely and promote and defend yourself. But lift your head up and realize that there's more cups to fill here. Walk away. Pick your battles wisely. This is a card that says, you know, you're crying over spilt milk. The past is over. It's done. Move on, my beautiful friends, because there's a brand new beautiful future presenting itself to you. Yeah, you were in a situation where you felt stuck and bored. Here is the four of, you know, Four of Swords shows up on the Four of Cups, so keeping your options open. And I think you've just had to take a time out here. When the Four of Swords shows up, it says, do what's right for you. Step back and take a time out. I think you've pushed yourself, you've had to work through something, and now it's time for you to relax. Okay, take a time out. Moving on to our beautiful lovers, partners. Oh yes, Ten of Pentacles. It's going to work out for you. It's not the Ten of Cups, it's the Ten of Pentacles, but it does mean harmony and stability within your home life and your financial security. So you're going to be happy together. You're going to have both of those secure, uh, secure securities that are coming into you with this relationship, with this partnership. Beautiful. Wow. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Libras, this is your reading for today, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always remember, the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. So be careful what you throw out there because it's going to come back and hit you tenfold. Keep it positive. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it. Don't fight it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Let's all play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and we'll all see each other very soon.